one favor that i think everyone must give it to themselves is to achieve their goals this year you know let's make this year something different than the previous years and if you have achieved your goals in the previous years let's achieve more goals in this year and achieving goals is not about hitting a target it's more about the self confidence that it brings to your life the momentum that it brings to your life and achieving our goals is not always easy you are going to face a lot of obstacles a lot of problems a lot of troubles and you know if you achieve a goal and you achieve it without any trouble that's not even a goal you know because if you don't feel like pushing yourself to achieve something that means you have already achieved that so mentors are very important part of achieving a goal right because mentors help us keep on track they help us to know what we are doing right how to do it in a better way how can we do it quickly and what is the most important part of achieving our goals and what i personally feel is that there are no better mentors than the books we read and for achieving our goals here are my 10 personal favorite books that i think everyone should read in order to achieve their goals the first book is the seven habits of highly effective people by stephen curry this book actually teaches you the habits that highly successful people have in common such as a productivity prioritization effective communication so by incorporating these habits into your daily life you can become more productive and better equipped to achieve your goals the second most important book and it is highly recommended it's been sold for millions and millions of times and that book is think and grow rich by napoleon hill this book actually provides you the road map to the success you know so the road map by letting you know how you can harness the power of your mind to overcome the obstacles that you will see as you try and achieve your goals so actually what it does is that it emphasizes the importance of having a positive attitude and developing a clear vision of what you want to achieve in your life the third most important book is the power of positive thinking by norman vincent so why i like this book i like this book because it explains how having a positive attitude and thinking positively just the two of these can actually help you overcome the challenges that you will see along the way as you try and hit more goals so it teaches the techniques for shifting your perspective and it helps you focus on the positive aspects of your life you know because usually the optimistic people are the ones who are going to achieve their goals the ones who are pessimists are usually going to quit or give up along the way another important book is the lean startup how today's entrepreneurs use continuous innovation to create radically successful businesses by eric ries and this book is personal favorite because it's geared towards entrepreneurs like me and it provides the strategies for building a successful business you know by being agile and continuously iterating on your product and your service but it can be helpful to you as well if you are doing a job like you are the product you are the service for another company so the same rules being discussed in the book can be applied on you and you can actually use those skills to get a better job to have better position in your company and the goal of this book is actually to achieve success by failing fast learning quickly and the application of those lessons into your life so that you can be a machine that can really generate the power necessary to achieve your goals another important book is the mindset the new psychology of success by carl this book actually focuses on the concept of growth mindset and how having a growth mindset can help you achieve your goals so there are a lot of steps about the growth mindsets and what growth mindset is and what characteristics do you really need in order to have a growth mindset and you can really google that but the most important part is that if you develop that growth mindset you know that growth mindset will help you embrace these challenges and to you know it will help you see the setbacks as the opportunities for growth rather than you see them as the roadblocks to success the next important book is the atomic habits and that's an easy and proven way to build good habits and break the bad ones and the book is written by james clear this book actually provides a step by step guide for building good habits and breaking the bad ones which is it's really the 
bad habits that does more harm than actually the good habits that do the good for us so if you simply remove the bad habits if you reduce the number of bad habits you have in your life that can really scale you up that can really increase your speed and you know make you somebody who is already there to achieve his goals so it focuses on the ideas that uh, the small and incremental changes you know can lead to a significant result over time and that's the compounding effect that we all know about the 5 am club is another important book and that is written by Robin Sharma it revolves around owning our morning and elevation of our life and this book actually emphasizes the importance of waking up early using the quiet still hours of the morning to set the tone for us for the rest of the day and i have personally witnessed that if i own my morning if i am in charge of my morning i am really am more productive throughout my day as compared to the days when i am sloppy with my morning routine and the book actually provides a framework for establishing a productive morning routine and obviously if you continue to do so over a longer period of time you will be you will have more chances to achieve your goals another important book is the man's search for meaning by victor e frankel and this important book actually helps you create a purpose around your goals and if you really don't have a purpose around your goal it's hard to not give up along the way when you face the obstacles and challenges so having this book will create a long lasting purpose for you to achieve your goal and that long lasting purpose of your life will actually become different goals of your life and those goals are the ones that you will try and achieve so when you push yourself hard you actually know that this is just a part of my bigger goal and i have to do it to reach the next milestone so your goals will actually be connected with each other uh, they will not be arbitrary they will not be the goals that doesn't have the meaning and you just you know running behind them for the sake of and nothing and that actually is the reason for for a lot of quitters the book also argues that a strong sense of purpose can provide a sense of direction and that sense of direction brings more motivation even in the face of adversity another important book is getting things done the art of stress free productivity by david allen and this book actually helps you develop a comprehensive system and that system actually organizes your life and once your life is organized backed by the vision from victor e frankel the organized life will now have different steps and tasks that you must do in order to be more productive and once you are more productive you are going to achieve more goals and once you are going to achieve more goals it will actually take you closer to your purpose in life so getting things done actually teaches you how you can reduce your stress by prioritizing your tasks and focusing on the prioritized tasks to achieve your goals because when you are focused on things that matters and you already know the 80 20 rules you are able to achieve more in less time and with less stress and the last most important book is the miracle morning the not so obvious secrets guaranteed to transform your life before 8 am by all and rod and this book is important it's kind of like the same with the robin sharma but is written in a different way and it actually focuses on the idea that how the mornings are the most important part of your life and just doing more in the morning will help you achieve more in life so you don't really have to spend all your day trying to be productive just by being productive in your morning you can achieve your goals i really hope that these books will help you a lot in your life but remember that it is important that these books are only there to provide helpful advices and insights to you but ultimately it's your actions that is going to bring real change in your life and consistently implementing those ideas and techniques that are outlined in these books will help you stay committed to your goals and in turn will help you overcome the obstacles and once you overcome the obstacles and stay committed to your goals obviously there is nothing in the world that can stop you achieve your goals see you in the next video allah hafiz